Hello friends and welcome back to another declutter video. So I thought today I would declutter my everyday makeup bag. I've never seen anyone do this. I'm sure someone has, but I've never seen it. I recently decluttered all of my lipsticks and lip products. If you haven't seen that, it's a massive declutter. If you like declutters, you'll like that. I'll leave a link to it on the screen and link those two videos down below. I had to split it up into part two, but this one, I thought I need to declutter this. This is the makeup bag that I keep closest to me. I use products in here every day. I think the first thing I should start with decluttering is this actual makeup bag. <laughs> I love this makeup bag. I don't know if you can see that, you can. I got this from Target. This is the Sonia Kashuk makeup bags. By the way, now is the perfect time to pick up Sonia Kashuk goodies because I believe they're rebranding and they're only doing um, makeup brushes now, so they're not gonna have makeup, and I don't even know if they're gonna have makeup bags, but their makeup bags are amazing. I've had this makeup bag for three years, and it's still hanging on, and this travels with me, it goes on planes, it's been out of the country, but I think it's time is up, so let's jump into it. So that's the first thing, I'm gonna declutter this bag. I need a new makeup bag. So this is everything that I have in here. I have quite a bit. I don't know if I should just like pour it all out and then go through it, or take stuff out one by one. I think we should just pour it out. So let's do that and then I'll try to organize it and we can go through it. All right, so I've got everything laid out. I did not realize how much stuff I had in this bag. This bag might look big on camera, but it's because I'm zoomed in. This bag really isn't that big. So let's jump into it. First up from Yves Saint Laurent Beauty, we have the Shock Mascara. And this is in the shade, the shock? Is that the shade? No, I don't know. I can't see the shade, but honestly, okay. So this is one of their colored mascaras. You can see on camera, it's coming up way more vibrant for you guys because of my lights. For some reason, when you put it on the eye, like I was hoping it would look as bright as you're seeing it on my lashes. It doesn't. It's very muted on the lashes. You can't even tell I have blue mascara on. And shockingly, I actually wanted it to look blue. So I really don't reach for this. Um, I love the packaging, but I think this is one thing I'm actually just going to have to get rid of. And YSL Beauty did actually send this to me for free, but... I love the formula, I love the brush, but if I'm using a bright blue mascara, I want it to look bright blue, and for some reason, on my lashes, it just, it does not look bright blue, bright, <laughs> that's a tongue twister, bright blue, so I think I'm gonna pass that. I'll put, um, I want you guys to be able to see it, so I'll put stuff I'm gonna get rid of over here. Next up, this is something that honestly I have never ever used. I think I got this in a boxy charm or an Ipsy like a year ago and I've never used it. This is the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Powder, uh, Face Primer. It says with coconut water, probiotic ingredient and skin revivers. It's silicone free. I mean, and it, the sad thing is this looks like I used it up and I didn't, I've never used it. Maybe I'll try and use it today because I told you guys lately my skin has been very dry because of the winter and my chemical peel. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link to it down below, the chemical peel video. But before that, my skin has always been super oily. So I want to give this a try. So I will put this in a keep pile down here. Next up from Naked Cosmetics, this is also something that I got in my Ipsy or my BoxyCharm. I think it was Ipsy. A lot of times when I get those little like makeup samples or these small pigments or shadows, I put them in my everyday makeup bag to try them, but in all honesty, I never actually, I don't, how can I get it out without uh, using my long nails? Look at that. I just think it's gorgeous. How can I swatch this? I can't get in there because of my nails. It's a beautiful color, but I had it in my everyday makeup bag. See it there? Um, and I was like, I can't wear this to work. So this is really something that I should store like with party makeup or something. So this is from Naked Cosmetics, and this is their Mother Nature. I guess it's like a pigment or something. It's really pretty, so I do want to give this a try. It's just not something I can wear every day, so I'm going to keep that. This is something that's brand new to me. I actually feature this in my skincare routine video. This is the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. I've quickly become a fan of this. I really like it. It's finely milled. It helps my skin from becoming super oily and my concealer creasing. So I'm definitely keeping this. I literally just got this a week ago. So cannot get rid of that. We're going to keep that. 
This is, I believe this came in a Sephora Play unboxing. If you don't know, I get a lot of subscription boxes. I just recently canceled my BoxyCharm, but I've been getting Ipsy and Sephora Play for years now. So this came in a Sephora Play. This is a Sephora... Sephora Length and Volume Mascara. I think I've used this up. I really like it, but I think it's done. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. I'm doing good so far with um, mascaras. This is another product that came in a subscription box. I'm telling you guys, anytime I get something in a subscription box that I really want to try, I would put it in my everyday makeup bag. If I tried it and I didn't really like it, I would stop using it. And this is one of those. This is the Clinique high impact mascara it did absolutely nothing for my lashes so on this side you have the mascara and then on this side is the lash building primer and it just didn't do anything for my lashes and i have really short stubby lashes this is a very thick bristled brush and i don't know even with the primer it did not do anything i didn't like this at all so i'm gonna pass that wow i'm getting rid of a lot of uh mascara so remember this is the keep pile here. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe I should move it. Let's move it here. Can you see that? Yeah. So keep and then declutter. Another brand new product that I've only used like twice. So I cannot get rid of this. This is from Skin Iceland. This is the Berry Lip Fix. I really like this moisturizing on the lips. Um, I've only used it twice. So I'll keep giving you guys updates. Everything I've tried from Skin Iceland, I really like. I reviewed their Magic Rubber Mask. I reviewed their eye gels. I'll leave a link to those videos down below. It's a new brand to me, but everything I've tried so far, I really like. So I'm going to keep that. This is something else that I got in a subscription box. I think this came from Ipsy. This is the Jessie's Girl Eyeshadow Primer. I used it once. Too oily. I mean, it... <sighs> It was like putting like liquid on my eye. It's too light. It's dried out at this point. So this one is a definite declutter. Next up, I used to use this a lot. This is the NYX eyeshadow base and I think it's just white. Um, and I still do use it actually. When I really want colors to pop on my eye, I will put this um, on my eyeshadow, on my eyelid first, then I'll follow up with the eyeshadow. So I'm not gonna get rid of that. Um, they have this in stick form too, but I like it in little pot form. So look at that. Although I don't know why it's in my everyday makeup bag, because I definitely don't use this every day. Next up, another product that is brand new to me. This is from Clarins, and it came with this little pouch. This is the Clarins Palette 4 Colors in Lovely Rose, and it has my favorite colors in it. First of all, I love the packaging, but can I get it open? Oh, my God. It's so hard to open things with these long nails. I don't know how you guys do it. Oh, Hang on, friends. I'm sure this is harder. I'm making it harder than it has to be. Can I get it open? There we go. Look at how pretty those colors are. So I've actually worn this already. I really like it. I like the colors. I think this is my first time trying eyeshadows from Clarins. And I feel like this is something perfect that I can wear every day. So definitely keeping this. I literally just got it like, I don't know, two days ago. So I'm definitely going to keep this. I'm telling you guys, I don't know how you function with these long nails. I'm trying them out because I do like the way they look, but they just get in the way. <laughs> All right, so keeping this one. Next up, we have the Benai uh, Luxury Setting Powder. I've been using this for years. I love it, but I don't know if this is still even, like, is it expired? It says, uh, it says on here 48 months, so two years, right? 12, no, wait, oh my gosh, you can do math, Nicole. 12 times two okay is 12 oh my god <laughs> that is so embarrassing i haven't eaten in two days guys i'm fasting 12 times 2 is 24 so this is good for four years okay so i don't need to get rid of this i really like this i've had it for so long because i use so little of it i literally only use it to set under my eyes um I feel like I should start using it more to like all over the face, but like I told you, my skin has been a little bit dry, so I'm gonna keep this. I know this doesn't look like I'm decluttering anything, but I will, friends. I'm getting there. I've got rid of four things already, and we're keeping two, four, six, seven so far, so we're not doing too bad. Next up from Benefit, we have the Professional 
primer. I stopped using this. This is really good. It's a silicone based primer. It's really good, but I felt like I would use it. It would like minimize pores, but then as the day would wear on, it would just clog my pores. And I didn't like using this very frequently. So I'm going to get rid of this. If you have extremely large pores like I do, let me know if this started clogging your pores. Because I would put it on my nose where a lot of my larger pores are. And I felt like long-term use, it would just clog my pores more and subsequently make them look even bigger. I don't know. I didn't like it long-term. So I'm going to declutter that. Next up, another item I've gotten in a subscription box. I think this was Ipsy. This is from Winky Lux. This is their, I believe this is an eyeshadow primer. It was just too liquidy for me. I didn't like it. Definitely decluttering this. I try. I gave it a couple tries too. Definitely a pass. We've got more pigments. This came in a boxy charm like three years ago. I'm shocked I still have this. This is from Your Minerals Sweden, and this is a pigment in Brown Hypnotic. I swatched it here for you guys. I don't know if my camera is going to do it justice. It is so pretty. I love it. I want to use it more often, so I'm definitely going to keep that one. This is one I received, I think, in an Ipsy. This is from... Uh, M Princess, and this is a pigment called Melting Maple. It's beautiful, it's gold, it's a bit messy. Definitely going to keep this one. I actually do use this quite frequently when I want some shimmer. This is a pigment from L'Oreal. This is their High Intensity Pigment in Rebel. This is gorgeous. It's a beautiful green color. I've had this for like four years. I feel like it's time to get rid of it. I do love it, but I feel like I should repurchase it. I've just had it too long. I mean, pigments can literally last you a lifetime. You can have a pigment and literally never have to buy it again because you need so little of them. Um, this is a Monsieur Big Mascara from Lancome. I really like this mascara, and I haven't had it that long, so I'm definitely going to keep this. I did a full review video, I believe, on this mascara. I'll leave a link to it down below. I think it was a Lancome haul. Next up, we have a L'Oreal... Uh, lacquer liner. So this is a black liner, gel liner. I just bought this. Uh, I'm like 50-50 on it. It's not bad. It's very thick. It's not very easy to move around like the e.l.f. Um, gel liner that I love, but it works. So I'm going to keep this. I just bought this like two months ago. Now, these two, I love them, but I have had these for years. I'm talking about three years. This has to be unhealthy to keep using these. These are the Maybelline Fit Me Concealers, and I have the shade uh, 35. So both of them are the same shade. You can see they're separating. There's still a lot of product in here. I like to use these under the brow bone, and when I want a more natural concealer, I'll use it under the eyes. But now that I have the Fenty um, Matchsticks Trios, I actually prefer those for a more natural concealer. So I'm going to get rid of these. I like these. If you're looking for a good drugstore concealer, definitely recommend them, but... It's time to get rid of those. I don't even think it's healthy to have those for the amount of time I have. Next up, we have, this is from Yves Saint Laurent Beauty. This is their Rouge Pure Couture, and this is in the shade 01. This is from their holiday collection. There's no way I'm getting rid of this. You guys know I love YSL Beauty. They've quickly become one of my favorite high-end beauty brands. I love this color. I love the formula. I love the packaging. Definitely not getting rid of this, and I do use it daily, so... Super pretty. I'll leave a link to it down below. I'll try to leave a link to everything I'm keeping down below. This is everything I'm keeping. Another product from Yves Saint Laurent Beauty that I already know I'm not getting rid of. This is their Touche Clot Neutralizer, and this is in the shade Apricot. Um, definitely keeping this. I featured this also in my skincare routine video. It has a little click, and you click it up. I thought it would be too bright for my skin, but it's definitely not. It's a great concealer. I also really like their Touche Clot Radiant Touch. Um, I love that too, so definitely keeping this. Everything I've tried from YSL Beauty, I've really been liking. Next up, we have this black opal. I believe this is a concealer stick in the shade Honey. I used to love, wow, this is basically gone. It used to be up to here. I used to love to use this under the brow bone. That's all I used it for. This is definitely expired, so I'm going to get rid of that. Another good um, drugstore concealer if you're looking for one. This is a product that I've had for years, and I think I've only used once. This is the Cup Maybelline. Is this Maybelline? Yeah, Maybelline Color Tattoo Pure Pigment. I have no idea what the shade is because I've had it for so long. Let's see if it's on here. 
Um, it's called Black Mystery. I've just never used it. I'm sure it's expired. It's really pretty, but I've never reached for it. I don't even know why it's in my everyday makeup bag. So we're going to declutter that. Um, this is the L'Oreal Infallible Liquid Eyeliner. Wow, I forgot I had this. I remember not liking this. I don't know why, because it's really pretty. And I love, um, I love the color. I think I didn't like the white one. I'm definitely going to have to give this a try. You guys know I'm not neut a neutrals girl. I love color. This is in the shade Electric Blue. So I'm definitely going to give this a try. Look at how pretty that is. I like that and it went on so smooth here's a Lancome product I don't like and I feel like I don't say that often this is the Lancome I never say this right this is the name of it this is the mascara let me make sure it's not upside down that's the name of the mascara I don't like it it doesn't make my lashes longer it doesn't make them thicker which is really weird because the brush looks like it would do a good job it doesn't me no likey and it's a shame like with the mascaras I could never pass this on to someone because I feel like that's just kind of gross to give someone a used mascara so definitely going to declutter that one bye bye Lancome mascara sorry it didn't work out um this is a Lancome product I do like um I feature this in many hauls this is the ombre hypnose um in amethyst so it's basically a stick eyeshadow I love it how easy it is it's very pretty it's my favorite color it's purple basically what I do is I just put it all over the eye let's watch it here I just put it all over the eye add a crease color boom it lasts all day it's beautiful it's vibrant doesn't move around definitely keeping this I love this Lancome product next up we have this very old um, <laughs> eyeliner sharpener or lip liner sharpener I feel like it looks kind of gross. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I don't know how long this has just been rolling around in this dirty bag. So I think I'm going to declutter this with this bag. <laughs> Here's another pigment I've gotten in a BoxyCharm. This is, I don't even know who makes it. Makeup Addiction Cosmetics. Oh, okay. And Silver Lights Pigment. This is similar to that Maybelline 24-hour pigment I just showed you. I'm going to keep this. I'm just going to remove it from my everyday makeup bag just because I would never use that every day. But it is really pretty. Oh, God, it's really powdery. I don't know if you can see. It's getting everywhere. So I don't know. I don't like how powdery that is. We'll see. I'll give it a try because I haven't really given it a try. One of my favorite concealers. This is the NARS. What is it called? NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And this is in the shade cafe I love this whenever I have a blemish that I want to cover I just put this on over my foundation it's amazing definitely keeping that this is uh, meet matrimony this is one of their eyeshadows that I got in an ipsy and you can see I really like this color I've hit pan so I think I'm going to get rid of this because I already have shadows that are similar to this um, I think the shadow is called Matt Kumar is that the name of it I don't know I don't understand benefits packaging sometimes but I've hit pan so I'm going to declutter that one this is a definite must for me this is the MAC mixing medium I use this to put on glitter eyeshadow it just sticks to the glitter sticks to your eye it's amazing you need very little of this like very very little I've had this for two years and I ain't getting rid of it because I love it something else I would never get rid of you guys know I think the last Best of Beauty, I have featured this in like three of them. I love this. It's my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony. This is the only thing I use on my brows. It's just super easy. And I think the reason I love this so much is because it was the first product I ever used on my brows. Can you guys believe before this came out, I never did my brows. Like that's how much I was just like I loved makeup, but I didn't know how to do it. And so I think because this was the first product I tried and I just love it and it does the job. I'm like, why do I need to try anything else? I love this. Love, love, love. Um, let's see. Next up, this is a Kiko Milano Eyeliner Summer 2.0. I liked this, but it just dried out so fast. So definitely decluttering that. I feel like I only got like mm, two or no, maybe three weeks use out of it and it dried out. So getting rid of that one. This is a pigment. I have no idea where I've gotten it from. Um, all the labeling's gone because I've had it so long. I use this all the time. Like when I want to go to work, <laughs> you guys are going to think I'm so extra, but I will wear this shiny shit to work. <laughs> and I look at myself and I'm like, 
like this looks ridiculous but sometimes i just want some shimmer so i'm definitely not getting rid of it i'm sorry i wish i could tell you where i got this from what it is but you guys can see like there's no packaging i have no idea where this came from i do know it's a drugstore product but that's all i know okay hang in there friends i feel like this video needs a code word because if you've made it this long then you are awesome what should the code word be Let's have the code word be glitter. So if you've made it this far in the video, comment down below glitter because I thought this was gonna be short and it's not. We're almost done though. This is something else that came in a subscription box. This is from the Beauty Crop. This is a Lightning Crew. So it's a highlighting cream. I never use this. It's gorgeous, but I've just never used it. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna declutter it. I think I used it once and it was when I was super oily and I was like, no. One of the few ColourPop shadows I own, this is Super Shock Shadow in So Quiche. I just never use it ever. It's really pretty. Let me swatch it on a finger for you. It's really pretty. That's the color. Can I swatch it there? Um, can you even see that? And I, it wasn't, I just felt like it didn't show up that well on my skin tone. So definitely going to declutter this. Next, oh, this is the white liner. So this is the Infallible Paints white liner that I was telling you about. For some reason, it would like crumple up and skip. I think this is just a defective one because I did really like the blue one. So I'm gonna get rid of this. The blue one, are these the same? Yeah, they're the Infallible Paints. So I think this white one was just defective. This is in White Party 310. That's funny, White Party 310. 310 is the zip code in um, LA. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. This mascara, this is not mascara, this is a liner. This is a L'Oreal liner. I just, look at this. First of all, I can't even tell you what the name of it is because um, it's just like come off, come, came off. I liked this at first, but it kind of dried out pretty fast and it's starting to skip. So I'm going to get rid of this. I do like the thick, can you see how thick the applicator is, which is really nice when you want a thick line. So I'll try to repurchase this and I want to see if, it dries out so fast. I don't know why my liners tend to dry out really fast. This is from It Cosmetics. I think this is the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. This is in tan. This is way, way too light for me, but I still use it for when I want a really, really bright under eye. This stuff is thick. If you do not like a thick full coverage concealer, you will not like this. Look at how light that is, but I still make it work under my eyes. So I'm definitely gonna keep this. I don't use it every day, but I'd say I use it probably like once a week on the weekends when I want full coverage. I had to go, I had to go clean off my hands because I was all swatched up. This is a pigment, another pigment from Naked Cosmetics. I'm already keeping this one, remember, the more like um, iridescent one. This is a gold one, but it's like a gold orange. This is the shade Heavy Metal. I don't really like it. It's almost, it has like a red undertone and I feel like it doesn't look that great on my skin tone and I know I'm just gonna let it sit forever so I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is one of my favorite products that I've tried ever. This is the Touch In Soul Metalist Liquid Foil Glitter Shadow Duo. I actually just featured this in my skincare routine and I also did a full review video on this where I left it on all day. So on one side you get the brush applicator with the cream shadow. By the way, this is the shade what is this shade called? I don't know. I'll leave a link to it. Oh, Lottie. So this is the cream shadow. So you put that on and you can wear this by itself. I've done that many times. It's more like a rose gold color for you guys. It's probably looking like silver. And then you take this side. It's so easy guys. And it's long wearing. If you want to see a full, full demo on it, I'll leave a link to the video down below. It's kind of like glitter flakes. I don't know if you can see that. And you just brush it on top and it's gorgeous. I hate to even waste this on my hand because I love this stuff. I also recently purchased the purple one, but I can't find it. I need to search my collection. Look at how gorgeous this is. And I feel like it looks great on so many skin tones. It's long wearing. I wear this like multiple times a week. I'm never giving, oh my God. Just talking about decluttering this stresses me out. I cannot declutter that. <laughs> so dramatic. Um, this is the Christian Louboutin eyeliner. I like this. I just got it. Excuse me, I've been talking so much. I need to drink some water. Um, I just got it. I'm not getting rid of this. I literally, you guys saw me haul this like, I don't know, three weeks ago. So I need to keep using this. I like it. Um, this is the MAC 
Studio Finish Concealer in NC42. I only use this under my brow bone. I've never used it anywhere else. It does a really good job of shaping my brows. Um, I've repurchased it many times, so keeping that. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow and in Burst into Bloom. I love their infallible shadows. It's actually some of my favorite drugstore eyeshadow formula. I don't know if this is expired. Let's see. Uh, where's the expiration symbol on this bad boy? Maybe it's on the back. I know I've had this for years. Maybe I rubbed it off. I can't see. Oh, I'm torn on this one. I don't use it often, but when I do use it, I really love it. I'm going to keep this because I really love it. Two more mascaras. Kiko Milano. This is their Arctic Holiday Mascara. I love this. I'm keeping it. This is from Simply Me Beauty. This is the mascara that you can pick up at 7-Eleven. I did a full review video on this, keeping this. I love this mascara. This is one of the things from their collection I really love, so I'm definitely keeping that. And lastly, if you've made it to the end, don't forget to comment down below glitter because this video, I mean, it has to be over 20 minutes. My videos are so long. So this is Kiko Milano. This is their 208 eyeshadow. Oh God, let's see if I can get this open. It's broken, like you can see, it just pops out, but I don't care. I love this eyeshadow. I use it as a highlighter. I use it as an eyeshadow. I use it as an inner corner highlight. It's beautiful. It's multi-purpose. I need to repress it. I am not getting rid of this. Let me swatch it for you. Look at that. Look at that. Why would I ever get rid of this? No. Oh my gosh. Just thinking about getting rid of it upsets me. No. <laughs> I honestly use it more on the face than I do on the eyes, and I love it. So, let me organize everything. Remember, this is keep, get rid of. It may look like I'm not getting rid of a lot, but I am. So let me organize it to show you. Okay, so this is everything I'm keeping, and this is everything I'm getting rid of. I think I did pretty good. Considering, remember, I use these things, most of these things, every day. Like, this stuff you see I'm keeping will get used. So... Hopefully you enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Um, check out my other declutter videos. I'll leave a link to the playlist down below. Don't forget to check out the videos on the screen and let me know in the comments down below, glitter, if you made it to the end and if you want to see more declutter videos. That's it for me, friends. Bye.